Yeah, that needs to go away. And now we have Skags. Maybe we don't want a Dryad Fledgling. Will you play some The Off Guard in the future, Adam? Uh, of course. So far I'm playing uh, Dana, but uh, I definitely want to play the Assimilate New of Guard. Yes. Sentry and Spellweaver? Really? Uh, let's just do a smuggler. Oh, so the Sintry and Salveaver, uh, yeah, it just has charges, and it's not limited to one shot per turn. It's technically, well, the Smuggler won't necessarily die, and this is pretty surprising. It, it's kind of okay, because you get 5 points for 5. I don't have a way to heal it, or boost it. Okay, it's dead again, no? Yeah, no, it's not dead. It's close to dead. Hmm, I just do skags. They seem to be so cheap. He's playing some mid-ranged important units. Try them! Mm. <laughs> Random unit. I got a choice. I think this is acceptable. We play an edge beater and skags. That's fine. What I played is better because it gives us carry over value. So in this scenario, we lost round one, like usual, <laughs> at this point. And but, we have power. So, if this me decided to push me round 2, lose for sure. She's gonna get punished. Currently, I, I'm good in a short round and a long round. Lose for her, I mean. <laughs> and, uh, we need to throw away some trash. Oh, we got Saskia. Now, we got one Dryad. Dryad Ranger. Uh, I'm not even convinced that's a bad card. Because we're gonna get Puffco out with the hero power. So, I'm kinda happy with this. We can have a bad... Uh, well, worse card most likely. That's a fine card. Only question is, how do we start? I can technically start by playing Saskia. We have a Dwarf, we have an Elf, and we have a Dryad. So if I play Saskia, Let's hurry. she's gonna generate 2 points per turn, unless she dies. But it's a pretty uh, high threat target. Bluff CO 2000. What? Lady of the Lake. This guy wants to shield something so hard. There's actually a unit in the 
Oh, look at that. Why are you not with me? Green ladies are over here. Look at me. Okay, maybe not, not, not screw around too much, but... Let's play like a Dryad Ranger. Okay, this kind of encourages him to uh, use it as soon as possible. At last. What? You play Lady of the Lake to shield Avalok to eventually make something immune. What? What is he gonna make immune? Can we can we uh, afford to find out? Let's just say we don't want to find out. I'm gonna... No, no, no. Actually, it's... It's it's pretty risky to play that. You know what? We're gonna find no. out. Let the dough live. Huh. You see a in town. Get him here. But you got your wish. Another battle. Another entry. Well, that's a two-point value generator. Fine. Oh, it's not vulnerable anymore. Uh, we can just play a boar. <laughs> Relax to have units on the board. But I can just get killed. As long as we hold the dryad, uh, an elf, and a dwarf, Saskia can hit every turn. This is awkward. We're playing the Great Oak. My great granddaughter will do great. Oh, come on, that has shield too. Oh, of course. The machine gun man. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> You're right. But wouldn't he wait for that? I think it's about them time. Well, we can't kill it. But we can also lock it. Ah, yeah, I should have finished my paint. I'm not sure if you're gonna have uh, another good target for, for skags.
There's not enough stuff to hit. with that. That's the only guy on his board that lives. <laughs> yes, finally something. Kill it. We can just move it away, right? That's better. Because he would boost it all the time. What now, mister? He has a very one-trick pony strategy. What is he holding on to? It's not enough, man. You need more than that. Crushing trap for five at least. Maybe six. Maybe seven. Well, he's only a few points behind. Maybe he can come back. Let's see what his last two cards are. I'm not sure what would get him back. I don't think anything can. Stand and fight, cowards! Yeah, that's annoying. But if he can't make it uh, invulnerable or like boosted, he's gonna take some damage. Not too much. Actually, only. Uh, one. No, no, actually can't take more damage than that. It's gonna be a bit RNG. Yep. Let's see your last card. Believe! Oh. Let's go with the boosts. But this guy never gives up. <laughs> they got the ism. Alright, we got him! Uh, I'm a Crimson Initiate, apparently. I'm not too concerned. Well, that was a two-point value generation that I left up. Um, he really wanted to secure that he can actually combo uh, to make it a four-point value generation, which is really good, but I had a lot of value generation on my board. And he didn't really stop that. Well played. Uh, let's just kick that and uh, kick the healer.
I know it's late I response, but I like this seasonal card back personally. The bear one was ugly, and uh, the Crimson Curse one was uh, too hard stony, but I like the. Impli what? You like this fun? Sure. Uh, I totally agree with you. I, I also find the Crimson Curse one too flashy and uh, and uh, Skellige one too boring. So that's why I want to get the elf one. It looks stylish. Elven no! So it looks like this guy uh, cares a lot more about the elves. Uh, maybe even has an Ali Ran. What we need to keep in mind is that seems like uh, most of these Dana decks, she actually has an 11 point uh, play possible. It seems like most of the Dana decks are more interested. And, uh, and a, l a little bit more interested in tempo, efficiency. Uh, than my version. Uh, we can play this. No, let the dough live. Careful, the moss. Don't shout. The panther is so bad because when you go up against Squirtle now, it's it's kind of the only faction that only uses faction cards. And Panther only hits uh, non-faction cards uh, from the square tail. So not the best. Uh, we can just pass. That is actually acceptable. Because I'm better in long rounds. If I'm gonna pass in this first round, uh, then it's best if I pass right now. One good draw. Problem with these draws is that we don't have a dwarf that we want to carry over. Yeah, that's an excellent throwaway. Let's boost Puff though. I suppose we can boost an agitator with an agitator. Although I'm not sure why he's playing cards. And that's it. Obviously we need to mulligan away the panther. Skags. Dwarf gets kicked, <clears throat> the panther gets kicked, and this is on the weak side. Actually, it's fine. It, it is totally fine. We can get out the smuggler or Sursa. Uh, let's keep it. So I have an elf, uh, a dryad, and a dwarf in my hand. So we can start with Saskia. I kneel before no one. We can play our only Dryad. <laughs> but I can play Sursa. 
Or that. Uh, boost Skags. Then play Water of Rockylon. And that's decent. That's a good luck. I'm not sure if we have a better lock later. But I can play a Dryad Ranger. To try to benefit from these value generators. It's unlikely that we can kill the fledgling. So it might be the best if I just lock it right away. We might have to be wary of a crushing trap. You don't use Panther in your deck for that reason. The only reason I'm using Panther is because it's an extra different primary category. It's a beast. So it makes my hero power stronger. We can kill it with Dryad Ranger and uh, Tree and Boar. So this can hit at most for 7 if we do this combo. But we already have a target for that. Can I kill that? I don't know. So, he's signaling to me that he doesn't have a Great Oak. The way he's playing, but he could have a Crushing Trap. Or did he play his Great Oak? No, he did not. It's a pretty late use of Melva. This comes back. Still tried to kill that. I can play the Dryad Ranger in the front. I don't have a crushing trap, so it makes sense to kill it. It's an unusual choice. I can't kill it. Can I kill it? It doesn't really make too much sense to kill it. I don't wanna... Disrupt the boar. And I do wanna leave room for Shadow and Skaggs and the Great Oak. Agitator plays in the back for sure, of course. This looks weak. The only advantage of the Weeping Willow, and I did consider this card, well, it does come with a shield. It, it's very similar to Shadow Skags, but it gives its power over time, and you don't have the removal potential with it. So it seems like he's just playing it safe, uh, which is just uh, not good enough against my deck. He had more removal potential against me, but he wasted it. Uh, 
I can just uh, play Sheldon Skaggs on this one. Maybe he actually has a great throw. What's the point of that? I can move in the front. <gasps> what? You bastard! You die now! And now we can play the Great Oak. And over here. Does it matter? Do we want to play it right now? It might make more sense to play the Barnabas. Not like I need to think super hard about this game, but yeah, I just played for reals. He could have a crushing trap. Oh, that's interesting. So it's gonna heal that move, or move then heal. What does it say? Yeah, move then heal. No! The text is wrong! Move three ant to the other row and heal it. Oh, it doesn't say then heal it. But logically that that's what I would assume. And heal it. So basically that's one action. Move and heal. And uh after that, trigger the sentry. Fair enough. Big tree in the middle. Let's see what you got. Shoop deck! Charm the big tree. Will he go for it? If he doesn't go for it, like... Well, he still doesn't have a chance to win. But come on, at least you gotta go for the charm, man. Why is he going for the safe shoot? Safe shoot option. <laughs> I guess shoot could be an okay choice in this deck. But... I don't care for it too much. Anyway, Woofy Man, uh, well done. GG.